Hello, Leo. This message is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Wells of Wisdom. My name is Camille, and I'm looking forward to doing a reading today, Leo. All right, we have three rows of cards. And then you have a final card, the bottom of the deck. Let's talk about the first row, because I think the first row is the main message. We have a divine couple, the king and the queen of cups. The queen of cups is an intuitive person. It's feminine energy, male or female gender does not matter. But I'm telling you the energy of the queen of cups, Leo, is feminine. The energy to the king of cups is masculine and it's emotional mastery. These two are a divine pairing. So perhaps you and your person are finding success with each other and recognition with the relationship. But there are parts of it, Leo, that are still a work in progress. Okay? The Eight of Pentacles deems work of progress. You're working hard. Now, to clarify all the four cards, I have two rows of cards that clarify. So for my King, or sorry, my Queen of Cups row, we have Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. The Empress is, is Major Arcana. That is all four queens. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. All of the energies, it's a divine feminine put together. Now, before that card came the Seven of Pentacles, which is reevaluation. And what I see is that I think you are reevaluating the relationship. And by reevaluating the relationship, Leo, it makes you or it helps you to gain the Empress energy. Wonderful. In this relationship, you're going to need it. The King of Cups was clarified by the Seven of Wands and the King of Swords. The King of Swords and the King of Cups. So the King of Cups, I think I might have said King of Wands, sorry. But the King of Cups is emotional mastery. The King of Swords is quick-witted and intellect. The King of Swords is very intellectual. He thinks, he's in his head. This is air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is water energy. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. These are two people. So with the Seven of Wands, Perhaps the king of swords is how you are, or how the person that you're dealing with is portrayed, Leo, or is received, perceived. The seven of wands and the king of cups together is a philosopher. Perhaps you're a person that is studying philosophy. You are um, a psychology major, a psych major. This is a person that's seen as a philosopher. Now, when you put that with the seven of swords, this is a person that is not thought of as a philosopher, but someone who can be quick-witted, angry, sharp, can cut somebody off very quickly in order to defend themselves. So there's something that's happened that's made the King of Cups emotional mastery go into a King of Swords, okay? Now, Six of Wands is success and recognition. You're getting the recognition, you're gaining the success, but there was a stalemate. You had to make a, a head over heart decision. You or perhaps the person that you're dealing with. Perhaps this is why that King of Swords became, the King of Cups turned into the King of Swords because they someone had to make, and perhaps both of you needed to make the head over heart decision, all right? Think of the traditional Rider Waite tarot card where these, there are two swords that are, that are up 
and it's head over heart. You're, but you're still, or the person was still, or the relationship is in stalemate and indecision. Even though there's a victory that is on its way. Because the last card to clarify this row, and this is the Six of Wands row, is the Page of Pentacles. And that brings in learning, new ideas, concrete steady stability so something is changing in this relationship leo and it's becoming and it's making it's giving you and perhaps your counterpart a concrete idea a concrete design a concrete way forward there will be some things that need to change because you the fourth card you have is the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles is a work in progress. You're working on perhaps your relationship. You're working on reevaluating and understanding each other because that defense mechanism is really up and it caused a stalemate and an indecision, but you're working on it. Perhaps. When you made this decision or when they made this decision, it puts you into isolation and it made you feel alone. Alone and isolated that you had to do everything by yourself. All right. Which came to death. Death is a transformation in the relationship. It's Leo energy. May mean something to you, may not. But the Leo energy is fire. This is water. And Scorpio is a transition. So you're transitioning. And the final card that you received, Leo, is healing and recovery. Four of Swords. This is the meditation. This is the long sleep after the battle. The battle is over and now you are healing. You are recovering. And at the bottom of the deck, Leo, we had temperance. And temperance is restoration. It's tempering the cold and the hot to make warm, to make comfortable. It is restoring this relationship. And as I pulled that, the next card, and I'm going to show it, is ultimate achievement, total abundance the Ten of Pentacles. That is the happy family, happy house, happy relationship, total abundance. Leo, that's what I have for you today. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Wells of Wisdom is so happy that you are here and that you have seen the second video of my channel. I'm very excited and I hope this gave you some clarity. Love and light, Leo. Take care.